Park. And we fell in love with the character of the house, being an older style. We wanted a big enough property that the kids would have somewhere to run around and play. Um, it's also just down the road from my parents. Heather Shaw and her husband Dave used an interest-only loan from ANZ to buy their five-acre property outside Perth in 2013. <laughs> when I got pregnant with Alex, we decided to keep interest-only so that I could take a full 12 months off work uh, without having any sort of financial um, strain on us. Plus, with my husband working away and me working a long way away, the kids being at daycare is a strain on them. And some cheese. Now Heather Shaw is returning to work. In the next few months, their home loan switches over to principal plus interest. And that means the family's mortgage repayments will increase by a quarter. But they'll have a second income. This was a strategic move for us. Um, we've planned for this. But for another ANZ customer, Queensland farmer Hugh Mackey, the switch could prove too much. He had been hoping to retire soon. <laughs> well, I'm 61, so I, in my lifetime I was thinking 60 to 65 I was going to retire. Um, but as things are going, I'm not sure I can even retire at 65. Um, the way it's going now. To try to fund their retirement, he and his wife Claire invested in the coal mining town of Blackwater in 2008, buying two investment properties with interest-only loans. But the town's rental market has slumped, their houses have halved in value and Hugh Mackey is struggling to meet his loan repayments. And at the moment with interest only we're forking out I think approximately $30,000 a year of our own money separate to the, the rental income to, to not default on the loan repayments. This week the loans are switching over to principal plus interest, meaning he'll have to find an extra $12,000 a year to cover his mortgages. He's yet to speak to the bank. If it gets serious and ugly I presume they can probably bankrupt me. I don't want that to happen. Um, I don't know. I can't see an easy solution, but I, and in the meantime, I want to keep trying to pay the repayments, and I'm in effect borrowing money to, to continue these repayments. Hugh Mackey is not alone. The Reserve Bank estimates that $360 billion worth of interest-only home loans will roll over to principal plus interest in the next three years. For the average borrower. That means about $7,000 a year in extra repayments. That can see their monthly repayments increase by about a third. Uh, and so that's a big strain for a lot of people. And uh, in terms of cash flow, that's very hard for a lot of people to meet, particularly if they're overstretched. Economist Richard Holden says at the same time it's become harder to refinance, with banks applying greater scrutiny to people's debts and spending habits. Those borrowers who can't refinance could be forced to sell. The kind of nightmare scenario is where a lot of people need to sell all at once and that's where you see a kind of fire sale mentality and could be, see very significant downward pressure on prices that puts the banks under stress and their balance sheets under stress uh, and it could lead to significant financial instability. By 2015, interest-only loans had grown to almost 40% of outstanding housing credit in Australia. In March last year, the regulator, APRA, put the brakes on, limiting interest-only lending by the banks to 30% of new home loans. It's been characterised as a crackdown, but Australia is still exposed. In the UK, less than 18% of home loans are interest-only. Interest-only loans in the US played a role in the global financial crisis, and lenders there have only recently started offering the loans again, but with extra safeguards. It's a story that may not end well for many Australians, like Hugh Mackey. Even if he sells both investment properties, he may still owe ANZ a quarter of a million dollars. If they take that debt, which they're entitled to do, then basically I'll, we'll end up with no assets and no, and no cash at that time. Do you regret ever buying these houses? Yeah, it was probably the worst decision I've ever made in my life.